Hello, hello, and welcome to another Bible study with the Feed My Sheep Foundation uh, video channel. Today on this video channel, uh, on this video in particular, we're going to do a uh, Bible study into looking at the government, looking at the government and the specific reason for government and what government does in a country, because the government is always foundation of a country and just as Jesus Christ told us he came to earth with the government on his shoulder that's in Isaiah chapter 9 where we can actually begin to go into this Bible study revelation reading as we take a look at government the establishment the rulership the guidelines the ordinance the order of a particular country. Uh, Jesus Christ told us here in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5, he said, For every battle, uh oh, let me see here. Sorry about that. Okay, chapter, Isaiah chapter 9, and then, um, threw me off whenever I heard the phone ring. Okay, verse 5, verse 6. Every battle of, of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a child is born. And unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it, to establish it with judgment, with justice, from henceforth even and forever. For the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Okay? So just from reading those three scriptures and actually we can go in and read the whole chapter 9 of Isaiah we can see the establishment the rulership of the government that Christ Jesus came to earth to make happen for the people in the earth okay because again it tells us here of the government it says of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end Okay, and then also backing up to verse 6, he says, For unto us a child is born, unto him us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. So everything that pertains to the ordinance of the kingdom, of that country that he came from heaven, all of that is going to be upon him. Okay, and how he establishes everything. And we know that when Jesus Christ came to earth, he came to establish the presence of God. In the fact that God was a healer, in the fact that God was a deliverer, in the fact that God is a savior, in the fact that God is a creator, the fact that God is provider, and the fact that God is provisioner, and the fact that God is our God, okay? He came with that message and that revelation from heaven upon him to spread out into the earth, into the, uh, unto people, unto mankind, unto his creation. So that was the government that he came with. And from that specific government, everything else is founded. Okay, because again, it's the same government that God has already established. We're just seeing it being played out in a new format because of the New Testament, the new covenant, the new agreement God made with mankind. It comes through Christ Jesus and him being the Savior and bringing it and making it happen and bringing it um, coming to earth with it okay uh, let me see if I want to uh, let me see I'm going to start actually um, I'm going to start with verse 1 of this chapter 9 in Isaiah to go ahead and just tap into a little bit of the reading in reference to the government and why the government because again salvation was needed for mankind because there was sin and on a rampage in the earth man had no knowledge of the fact that he was committing a trespass against God 
that's another thing that we need to take notice of too in reference to uh, God sending salvation into the earth was the fact that man did not know that he was walking uh, in opposition to God but when salvation came when Jesus Christ came to earth then therefore we were able to uh, come into that realization and then become I guess you could say straighten out or uh, because we become completed in Christ we become whole once we accept Christ as our personal Savior so we start with Isaiah chapter 9 it says nevertheless the dimness shall not be such as as was in her vexation when at first the, he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulon and the land of Nephertili and afterward he did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in Galilee and of all the nations and it says the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light they that dwell in the land of shadow of death upon them have the light shined thou hast multiplied the nation and not increased the joy they joy before thee according to the joy in harvest and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil for thou hast broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder the rod of his oppressor as in the day of the Median. for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire for unto us and so here we see it goes into explaining that unto us unto the children of Israel at that particular time and unto us today okay because they were speaking of it in the Old Testament that it was going to happen and unto us today it has happened that Christ Jesus has come into the earth as that battle it says for every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire for unto us a child is born unto us the son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder so we see, we see that from them experiencing all the different uh, things that they did experience in the Old Testament with many of the different nations that they had to fight against we see here that they're being told that a child is coming okay, and the government is going to be upon his shoulder so God is sending forth help from the heavens, okay? And uh, the help that is coming from heaven is going to have the government with the government, the procedures, the uh, guidelines, everything that heaven stands upon because the government is the foundation of any country. And from that country, everything that is established at that government level, that country will operate by that okay willingly or unwillingly because that foundation has been established by that government okay and it's just like the uh, it's just like um building a house what and the house uh everything in the foundation of the house stands from that foundation okay it stands upon that foundation the house it says if you remove the foundation then the house falls down okay so therefore the same way with the government in a country and so therefore if um, you have a, a country whatever the government has established in that particular region in that country is going to flow through the people in that country it's going to be operated by that country that's why you can always tell just like with an individual person whatever is flowing and operating through that person you can always tell what is the root what is the foundation of that person by what is operating through that individual person and the same way with the country whatever the foundation how what is the values what is the core def defining uh, definition that that individual country stands on or that individual person what is their belief system what is what do they believe in what is important what is their values and what do they consider to be moral what do they consider to be important 
that is what the government of any uh, country, any individual is going to operate. Whatever that statute, whatever that rule, whatever that uh, whatever has been established in order to maintain the stability of, stability of the operating force of that particular country or person is going to be operated through the foundation of it. Okay, however it was established from the very beginning. Everything else is created or is an example. Is a, And that's the part we really, we really want to comprehend. Everything coming up from that government. Everything manifesting from that in that country, in that person, is coming from that foundation of that thing that was built. Okay, of that original uh, foundation that was created, okay? So, just wanting to share that on our Bible study today. And another scripture I'm led to is Daniel chapter 2, another book. Daniel chapter 2, as we take a look at government and foundation, because that's what we're looking at in this uh, Bible study. And how everything that Jesus Christ came to earth with was built upon him. Because again, the Heavenly Father informed us that he was coming with the government of the kingdom. He was coming with the government. So he was coming with whatever arrangements the Heavenly Father had already predestined to happen. He was coming to fulfill it. And we know that from reading the Word of God because he told us that in the Word of God and he did come with salvation. So we're here in uh, Daniel chapter 2 verse 44 it says, And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Okay, so this is what, this is a part of the foundation of the kingdom that we stand upon that the government of Christ Jesus. The kingdom, it shall never be destroyed. Okay, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Any other kingdom, God is saying, his kingdom shall break in pieces. Okay? He shall break in pieces any other kingdom, and he shall, he shall consume all other kingdoms. Okay? So that is the ordinance of the kingdom of God in the earth. Okay? The kingdom of heaven going forward that Christ Jesus came into the earth with. Okay, and as a part of, that's a part of the government operation for the kingdom of God. Okay, now uh, another scripture I'm led over into is Romans chapter 13. As we take a look at government foundation, Romans chapter 13, actually, uh, let's look at Romans chapter 11. In verse 16, for if the first fruit be holy, then the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. That's going back to, again, laying the foundation of a thing. Okay, and as we are talking about countries, because Jesus Christ uh, stated he came with the government of the kingdom of heaven upon his shoulder. Okay, so he came with the foundation Letting us know that he is the foundation to the government of heaven. Of the kingdom of heaven, I'm sorry. The country of heaven. And he is the government. He governs that king. Okay, and everything that he comes to, he came to earth to say and do is the governing process of the kingdom of heaven. Salvation, meaning that as we read throughout the word of God, that Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father, okay? So he explains that. So that's the government, that's the rule that he's governing heaven. So he's letting us know that's the way that heaven is governed. That's the way it's prepared, established, and it's not going to change, okay? Another scripture, Romans chapter 13. Next, uh, couple chapters over 
in the same book Romans and we're looking at chapter 13 and verse 1 it says let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of God and the powers that be those powers that are a power if they are a power that they are that they are a, if they are a power and if they be a power they are a, ordained by God okay so I'm going to read that again. Romans chapter 13 verse 1 says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Okay? Because again, Jesus Christ has decreed and declared. He came with the government. Okay? He came with the rulership of the country of heaven within him and those that come under him have taken on that government that same rulership okay that same government and we walk in that government and we stand on that government and the rulership of that government as it operates in the earth all right so god bless you god loves you and that brings me to the conclusion of the bible study for today in reference to government and foundation and how the government is the foundation of a country just as Jesus Christ uh, gave us the example and that's what the Word of God does it, give, it has given us the example of everything that is everything that's going on in the face of this earth I mean even down to the countries okay and the nations okay the people that exist in the countries and uh, as far as the rulership and how to actually organize it and what the order of it how it, in organizing it what the order of it how it will uh, sustain itself basically because once the government has been established again as stated everything from that arises so what if the government that has been established is crooked there's going to be a crookedness in that country just like with the Jesus Christ the government it has established in heaven there's healing so if healing is established in that country of heaven healing is going to be established amongst the people in that country deliverance is going to be established among the people in that country uh, prosperity is going to be established amongst the people in that country uh, salvation is going to be established among the people in that country because that is the country of heaven and that is the foundation of the country that we have become a part of as saints in the sanctuary of God. Hallelujah. All right, so God bless you. God loves you. And I will see you again as we continue to go forward on the Feed My Sheep Foundation Bible Study video channel.